this week's video, we're talking about the creative process and little things I've picked up along the way. The first thing I want to talk about with that is a plan. Now, planning what you're doing is super helpful. It gets what you need done. So I'm going to show you guys something I do. I have a calendar with me and just so you can see what I mean, I like to I basically plan out what I'm doing. And if you have something like a plan in motion, you can work around it, you can tweak it with whatever it is. It could be you're making an album, it could be you're making stickers or you're writing a book. It's always nice to approach it in a sense that you have things mapped out so that you don't feel all that pressure of just winging it because winging stuff sometimes yeah it helps but it's not always the best thing to do the second point that i want to mention is to give yourself some credit now if you're working on a book a book or an album or whatever those take a lot of time and a lot of patience in order to really get that kind of thing to be the right way you have to look at what you're doing in the moment. And if you know it's not what you want in the beginning, then you have to keep working at it. And what I mean, it's like, friend, I and we were shooting his videos. And later on down the road, he edited the um, videos again because he noticed that there were things he could have done better. And that's what it really is about. It's not like recording something, it being bad, and then going, this sucks, I quit. It's recording something and working through it because knowing you did your best at that moment, maybe you didn't, but I'm getting off track. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just give yourself some credit. If you know you're shooting a part and you feel like it's not right keep the old stuff and maybe just change a little bit of it it doesn't mean it's not good enough it just means that maybe the approach is wrong and all you have to do is change the approach the third thing i guess i want to mention using your own voice i think a lot of artists i've seen not all but some they tend to uh do this thing where if their favorite director is someone like Spielberg, they'll make a movie or whatever and it'll just be almost exactly like what Spielberg does. And that works for Spielberg because that's who he is, but it's not who you are. And I feel like you need to take the time to find your own voice. Finding your own voice makes everything a lot easier. When you know what you want to do and your direction and your goal, it just, it becomes so much easier. And you know that's who you are, so that's why that looks like that. And 80% of the time, maybe more than that, those ideas that come from you being yourself are always better than you copying someone else's idea. You can take bits and pieces i'm not saying you know you can't make a movie like it's like going oh i'm making a movie about the 50s you can take some influences of course but it has to set look and feel authentic to who you are as a person using who you are and those pieces together it kind of makes like that narrative that is coming from you which makes almost everything 10 times better. When people see that you're doing something in your own voice, there's a lot more to it as opposed to it feeling fake or it feeling like there's no real direction or what the message is. When you're clear with the message that you're trying to make, People will get it, and they don't have to be you to understand that. And if not, you know, they can form their own opinions. You don't let their opinions become your opinions. You have your own voice there, 
So it's like they can watch it and then go, well, I think it'll be cool. Let's say it's a movie about the West and from the standpoint of like a cowboy and they go, someone goes, oh, well, I think it would be cooler if you had like a Native American in the movie. Yeah, it's a good idea. But if that's not what you're trying to do, you shouldn't fully just take the idea. There's ways that you can work things into your vision without fully taking their vision. My hand's like full range. <laughs> so it's always cool when you have your own. Now, stuff like that, finding your own voice, it does take time. And that's why the other thing I'm going to say is to be patient. Being patient is probably one of the bigger things I think people suffer with because if you're being an artist or a musician or a dancer, a lot of these things take time and practice. And you shouldn't follow, like, yeah, you can follow someone else's footsteps, but the process of it has to come from you. It has to be what you think works now there's exceptions of course if let's say you take a dance class and they're teaching you how to do things that's different right but i'm speaking more on if you are someone like a comic book writer or like a movie director you have to practice things from other people sometimes to learn what you like and if you can take what you like and put it all together that's what you do like for me personally i like to when i'm drawing i like to plan out what i'm going to write but i don't write the dialogue for my book my graphic novel i don't write out the dialogue fully i kind of just have it in my head how i want it to go so i'm like oh okay well he's gonna say this or he's gonna say something that is super like sad and what is their relationship and i write a lot on like relationships but that's what i do i don't expect anyone who does the same thing to have that same idea the only reason i do that is because everything i've done in the past leads me to write based on relationships and that's how you know my process is and that's kind of what i'm saying here because it's my process doesn't mean it's someone else's process too. So if I'm telling someone that's my process, I don't expect the person to do the same thing I do because they're not me and I'm not them. So that's basically all I wanted to say here on the topic. But if you liked what you heard in this video, because I do make videos like once a week and you feel like there's something you'd like to hear me talk about, I have a Twitch account and I'm on almost every day or leave a suggestion in the comments below i've had it happen a few times where someone made a suggestion and i i did actually listen to it you can subscribe to my channel if you liked anything you saw here or anything you heard and all my social media is down below enjoy the rest of your day and or week i'll see you guys next time